Universe.com, the new face of ML Sports. It is a win by KO, submission, referee, stoppage, or judge's decision. Introducing the world's once again to the first fighter of the red corner, from Walsall, weighing in at 83 kilos. Representing Tap Out Academy, he brings a fighting record of two wins, no losses. Total Combat British Champion, victorious of Ultimate Combat 8. Please welcome Mick Bruster! <laughs> no boy, please. Every warrior deserves your respect in the house tonight. And his opponent, prepared to do devastation within the octagon. Fighting on the blue side from Reddit, representing the WPT gym. He brings to the octagon a fighting record of. Four wins, one loss. Trained in Thai boxing and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Representing Ultimate Combat at Shuto, Switzerland. Please welcome Ross Papas Lisa! Ladies and gentlemen, stand by for action within the Octagon. Well, here we go, Gavin. Ultimate Combat 9 Rebellion. Let's see what these two have in store for us tonight. Yeah, definitely. It should be a good night overall. Um, what we've got. Okay, stand by. Seconds out. Ready? Ready? Run Sorry, just had to let the call finish there. Um, yeah, it should be a good night overall. Uh, these two should be an explosive start. Straight away, Ross taking his man down to the floor. Ty Box in background coming in strong straight away. Definitely. Um, Mick looks Mick looks okay though. I think he's just happy to sort of ride this out. I think Ross will just eventually back off and let Mick up. Um, he was actually saying saying earlier uh, during the fighter interviews, Mick, sorry, that he would actually prefer to take this fight to the ground, knowing how good a striker that Ross is. Good, good. Both both of these guys are champions in their own right. Very very interesting to see what happens in this one. Referee stands them up. And as I said earlier, Mick straight away moving him for that clinch. He is looking to get Ross down. Ross should start using the knees now from the tie bot. There they go from the tie bot in background. He's almost known for that. He did. He actually did uh, exactly the same thing with his previous opponent. I believe it was Lee Aylett um, back at uh, Ultimate Combat 7, um, which he was very effective with. But uh, I'll be honest with you, I think that Mick is probably a step up in in class to um, Lee, so I, d I don't know how much of an effect those knees will actually have on him. That's right. High kick from Ross. Quite prepared to stay standing at this stage. Mick looking for the takedown all the time. Fails with the double leg, Ross still stays standing up. Yeah, it's a good takedown defence from Ross. Um, using his weight well, pushing his weight actually back. Uh, he's got excellent balance as well. Just, just looks like Ross is happy to sort of ride this one out, you know, perhaps take a breather from here. Uh, Mick's doing the clinch, looking for the takedown. Um, gives Ross time to again compose himself and do something like that. Sure. Definitely, I think Ross is trying to keep this standing up with Mick trying to take it to the floor. Very tentative start for these two. First uh, fight of the night. It looks like uh, Ross has already opened up a cut on it. Oh! Excellent strike. Uh, Ross should really be looking to get down there and try and finish this one now. You know, he's got that early strike in. He's had all his success standing up, so I think he feels he probably just doesn't want to go down the floor with Mick. He feels he's got the, the strongest stand-up ability. Understandable, yeah. I mean, Mick's got uh, also, he's showing a cut high on the left side of his forehead. Uh, sort of been opened up recently. So Ross probably doing the sensible thing and probably not going down the ground, maybe forcing the referee any minute now to make him stand and open that cup even more. Yeah, yeah, quite possibly. I mean, the thing is, though, the thing is, 
The thing is, Mick is no slouch, you know, I mean, he went the distance with uh, Shooto team member um, Enrique Anton at the last event, um, you know, and he looked very good there. Enrique, known, known for his heavy striking. Mick Hunt. Ross having a better success. It's oh! Fantastic. And that's it. That's it. It's over. Yep. It's all over. What a flash finish for that one there. Jumping knee from Ross Mason. Oh, definitely. Unbelievable. Another good win for Ross. Um, recently lost a, a fight in Switzerland. Uh, don't know the quite the name of the person who was fighting but he actually ended up getting winded had to stop that fight early he was desperately keen to come in here tonight and uh, make amends for that which he has done in great style as well and done the business in round one unfortunately uh, uh, champion Pierre Guilo will not be fighting he actually suffered a perforated eardrum and uh, just want to take the opportunity if you ever do watch this uh, Solomon Gilbert um, obviously no longer fighting at this event had a good win last week oh, congratulations from everyone at ML Sports to you so well done Remains the boss and takes and another win. Yeah, very good win for Ross. Good way to start the night off.